the bond instrument clip. It is important, though, before I wrap these, to check to make sure that my towel clamps are actually closed. And how do I know if they're closed? Snap sound, right? As soon as I hear that, I know that it has ratcheted closed. So those I need closed. Everything else should be open. Does not mean they have to be wide open. They just can't be ratcheted shut. So it can be like that, but we will check for that. So make sure you do it when you're wrapping your pack. Will they already be on the bunt clip? Or no. are we going to have to do that? You're going to have to put them on the bunt clip too. So practice and play with that. A sample of each of these, a gown, a... Um, an instrument pack and a lap rod machine. I'm going to leave in the center for you. So you can go and practice that anytime you want. Now Jessica is recording this, but I, I've already told her. A couple years ago, I also had a student that um, taped the wrapping of the gown. You know, it was the wrapping of all three things. Although the instrument pack that I was showing at that time was much smaller than this. But I'm going to post on Slate for you because you've got two weeks to practice this and only probably a 20, 25 minute time slot at the end to, to practice wrapping. So I need to provide you with something to be able to practice outside of class, okay? So a sample of each of these will be left for you and a, a, me just giving you instructions will be there as well for you outside of that today. So when I'm wrapping my instruments, um, this is a pretty good size as well for instruments. The other thing that you need to keep track of with instruments is when you're wrapping them, you also have to think about the mayo stand. So this is what a mayo stand looks like, and I knew that if you didn't recognize what I was talking about in class, probably when you saw this, you would also know. Okay. So I do need to make sure that when I unwrap this, it covers that whole mayo pack. I don't want my instruments touching this. Right, because this is only disinfected. This is not sterilized. This barely makes it, actually. But you know, um, the vet tech students, when they're doing their final surgery assignment, that's one of the things that you know, big doc marks for is if that's showing. But it's important. So surgical packs are a little bit of a difficulty because these instruments tend to slide when you're wrapping them. So be aware of that. It's not a bad idea to just use a little piece of muslin, which will be available to you, to help make this pack stay a little bit squarer. So you can just take a piece of muslin and put it on the bottom. That sort of helps keep it square. So I don't have everything that I need for this pack, but I do want to prove or uh, illustrate a point. Okay. I'm going to start with just putting the instruments on here that would not go on my bond clip, which is my Forceps. not ringed, not ratchet, forceps, um, scalpel handle, snook spay hook, all of these make sense that they don't go on. But what is tricky is also your scissors go on the bottom versus the clip. They're ringed, but they're not ratcheted. Now I just want you to pretend these are scissors for now because I'm going to have scissors for some reason in this pack. Probably somebody took them. Probably I took them. <laughs> okay. But you want to make sure that they're open. Okay, They're not latched shut. Also in our instrument packs, we're going to put 12 gauze squares. So always look for this. This is going to be out somewhere and there's all kinds of supplies here for you. So I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and make sure you count those out because we do count them. Let's put them there. Before I forget, I'm going to put my strip in here. And then I'm going to put these on top. Just like that. Okay. Now, there's no rules that say these could go on top of the, the instruments. But here's what happens. This was a very good technician taught me this. It say I put these all here and then I put these on top. When you go to unwrap the pack, these will easily stick to this material. So when you lift up the tab, they stick and can fall. So why not put them here where they're going to be held in place by these instruments? And then at this point in time, I'm going to try to wrap these. Now understand, these want to slide. 
So I've got to sort of do my best. It's not going to be a perfectly square pack because, and these I'm not going to start dropping or throwing out walls or things like that because of the problems, or, you know, it's just not quite as easy a wrap, okay? But I'm doing the same wrap. I'm making all of my tabs. Now the next one is a little easier because now I've got it wrapped, it sort of helps to keep those instruments a little better. I can make this tight and I can start dropping this pack or throwing it or doing whatever I want. Back again, there's my tab. 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 And the final one. Especially with this tucked in here. So, um, do you want to go over the laparotomy sheet one more time? Would you like me to show you the wrapping of that? Are you good with that? You just want to go practice. So, lap 